Right. Hello. Good afternoon, it's UK Yankee. With another one of our little <coughs> easier walks, I think. But we've not had much chance to uh, wrecky this particular walk because um, we were going to do a simple woodland walk today, but we couldn't get the car parking. It was absolutely chocker yeah. in the woods that we decided to go to. So we ventured on a bit longer and I remembered, uh, we, well, we, we were on the lash last night, weren't we? Um, yeah. <laughs> with some friends of ours and my, and my family. Anyway, one of the chaps, our friend Joe, he said, pointed something out on the map. So I said, oh. Anyway, so luckily today, when we couldn't find anywhere to go, we thought we'd try this. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. It's uncharted territory. It's getting, the wind's picking up a bit now. Um, but dry. And there's going to be a cooking video in this. It's going to be one of our cheap, cheap old suaves. Uh, it's Chinese chicken curry, this one. Mm -hmm. uh, done on the Trangia. Oh, Trangia. We have to look up what that said. Um, and then, what else? Oh yeah, this is going to take us hopefully to a site of one of the biggest landfalls. Oh yeah. Uh, landslips. Yeah. Apparently in UK history. And it also takes us up to ruins of an old castle. Well, News to me. Like I say, we've done no research on this. I only heard about it last night. Um, so come with us and let's see what happens. What do you think so far? Yeah, it's lovely. It's really pretty actually. <clears throat> the you know the shadow of the clouds yeah inside yeah they're really whipping by and all aren't they mm. <coughs> yeah. and right in the distance there's a little small waterfally creek thing there isn't it oh yeah mm. must admit i can hear i don't know if it's wind or water i'm just from the back of that no, I think it's I think it's the the wind going through the trees there. We are in a valley, so it bounces off, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So things sound like they're in different places than they actually are. Yeah, you sounded like you was uh, in Sheffield then. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd like it if it sounded like I was up this hill. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a frog? That stump there yeah. from this angle. To me, it looks like a frog getting ready to jump. Okay, well, as you know, because we haven't researched this, we aren't exactly sure where we're going, and you can see the gradient lines on an OS map, and I don't think we realised that it was actually going to take us up this. And I don't know, maybe on the camera it doesn't look that bad, <laughs> but that's probably got to be one of the worst hills we've tackled. So we either do or we don't make it, but uh, if we do, we'll show you at the top. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we looked at the hill, and uh, I'll show you a bit more of that in a second. So we, we decided to dive uh, about We've still come up quite high, which I'll show you, but we're not going to do the full bit, because the full bit is up there. And uh, because we, because, it was, so it's what happened was, where we were going to go today, we couldn't find a car park, but as, as I mentioned just a, you know, a moment ago. So we quickly just got out the OS map and went, ah, Joel told about this place. We were on the snake pass, we were actually on it at the time driving, so we couldn't really do much. <coughs> Pulled over real quick, let's get on with it because it was already like one o'clock. <laughs> so by the time we got here to the hill, it was past half one. It just wasn't the time. Not to do it safely, we would have had to go up quite quickly and then come down it quite quickly. Oh, we would have been absolutely ball bagged by the time we got up there yeah. uh, and to get back down because we didn't, we were, I think we have got a, a torch, we've got our phones with torches and stuff, but. 
that's going to be something that we sort of in the morning for. So anyway, the whole purpose for today was to do a cooking video anyway in the woods. So, uh, you know, so we came prepared for that. But I was just going to show you anyway because it's absolutely gorgeous here. We found this lovely little spot and it's fully enclosed. Look at this, guys. It's absolutely stunning. And let me just show you what you see at this. We're just in like a little, I don't know, a de you know, depression in the land. But look at that. Oh my days. Right folks, so this is all stuff that we bought from a cheap shop. So you'll recognise the kind of stuff. So today we're going for Reva hot chicken noodles. Cheap, about as cheap as you can get. Mayflower Chinese style medium curry sauce mix. Two minutes simmer. <laughs> I'm not sure how much this makes. It says it serves two to three, so that sounds perfect. Uh, we've never made these before, so we don't know. And um, obviously, to put in with that, we could just left it at that. But no, 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 no. We've got a how many grams do in that packet? 250 maybe. Yeah, I mean, possibly two chicken thighs chopped up. So two chicken thighs, right? Pretty cheap. And in this one, which is also going to serve as my napkin, I did one small onion, about five mushrooms, and one and a half average size box standard carrots and i've already put olive oil inside for frying so i'm not bringing any oil it's all pre-prepared so that with the noodles you know quite low cost food yeah should make for a nice lunch yeah should make for a nice lunch if it all goes well and so the cooking kit i've decided that we're going to try this is and i've I do have other bits of stuff at home that I could have added to this kit, but no. We're going to use and restrict ourselves to just the things that come with the Swedish original, made in Sweden, tried and tested, Trangia. Okay? I've already got the um, alcohol stove on the go. I've got my stirrer. And I got my forks. And if we do get a chance later, but it might not be today, we're also going to do a review of the kind, lightweight little trail bar, dark chocolate and orange. Um, but we'll see about that one. I think they're only about 30 grams in weight, those. Right. I think the method we're going to use is I'm going to first fry off all my ingredients. That's the first job. Then we're going to use the pot, put some water in it, cook the noodles. Take the noodles out, put it in with the stuff that's been fried off. And then using that same pot, so we get all the flavour, and using that same water, make this curry sauce mix. And once it's cooked, it all goes back in the pot for a good old stir round. And... Uh, Mean you should have happy f belly faces. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sweet. Well, that looks like it's now getting going quite nicely. Um, so, okay, here we go. Okay, well, I also meant to add that we've got some. I put one chili in the whole bag as well, one red chili. So, there we go. We've got. Um, to be honest with you, we're not particularly hungry, and I think I made too much, even though it was one small onion, one and a half carrots, a couple of mushrooms, and a chilli. Um, I think with the noodles and the chicken, I don't, I don't think I'm going to need it. I think, so I think we're just going to do half of each, and that way, if that is enough for two people for the lunch, then you could suggest that you've actually got dinner as well for two people. Mm. So that could be an overnight that could be an overnight bag of food, but we don't. We can't make that judgment yet until we've eaten 
Yeah. This? Well, you'd also need a cooling block if that was the case. A what? A cooling block, because you can't leave your chicken at room temperature for that long. Can't you? So you'd what, for like one the, day? Well, a whole day. Of course you can. No, be if so. No, I don't. You're not condoning food poisoning on this channel. No, I think we'd go out for one day. <laughs> I mean, people take full chicken out and camping. Anyway, um, well, yeah, we, we are cooking. Moving around a bit. It's actually released quite a bit of water while it was in the fridge overnight. So, which is good because it's not only going to fry itself a little bit later, but at the moment it's steaming itself as well, which will soften the carrots down a treat. That's, well, that's my theory anyway. Got the chicken ready. All I did with the chicken, guys, is I just put a bit of chilli powder over it because we like our food spicy. Oh. Okay, now so we have the chicken in there. Sunny is now sauteing. Bring that pot over there. Is the the vegetables. So you, what you want to do here is you just want to get a bit of colour on the on the chicken. Uh, constantly stirring it though because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. Right, so we've got our noodles on both packets. So we've had to yeah probably put a little bit more water than I would have liked in the in the bowl but we'll see. Then that simmers for about five minutes uh, once it's up to temp. And a little pro tip is you get the you can put the bowl with all your bits in on top of one of the frying pans that it comes with. Stick it on top and then you can put another top on there. Everything stays nice and warm. So I'm just going to go up to the top of this little hill here, just this little one. So I just want to see what, what the view looks like on the top of it. But fuck me, it's steep. I mean, this is, this is scrambling hands and knees sort of stuff. It's quite sharp, the incline. Oh, they're coming back down on my ass, I think. Nice little nooks and crannies. The wind's completely dropped off for now. A little bit of marsh down there. And we're in this natural dip. See what's over here. Yikes. That's, that's actually a sheep right up there. It's amazing the positions they're getting. It's quite something. Okay. Right, so the noodles are about there. So it's what I want to try and do now is what do I want to do? I want to get the noodles out, don't I, but leave the water in. So, if that's the case, it's going to be a case of trying to fish these bad boys out, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, you might find an easier task with a fork. Oh yeah, good, good call, missus. I forgot about the fox. So they look perfect, these noodles. Mm. Now 
and then we'll make the curry sauce with all the water and flavour that's in that water. And of course there's probably a bit of starch in that water as well, which on a hike and that, you're going to want. It's all good stuff. So, yeah, let me grab that now. And I may just be able to fish the rest out. And you know what, there's a few noodles in the water. Who gives a, who gives a shite? Right. So, let's get that water back on the boil. Uh, gonna need a bit more water, Brandy. Mm -hmm. So, I just pulled out the curry mix, and this is what it looks like. That's, now, that's a lot. Um, does it say on the packet how much water to use? Because I think I've got about 300 ml plus of water in the pot. It says whisk 85 grams. A curry sauce mix into 340 mils of water. 85 grams? The hell's that? Uh, oh, well, how big's the box? 255. So 85, well, so it's about a quarter, isn't it? Roughly, roughly a quarter. It was closer to a third. Okay, all right, so we want about a third of that powder in that pot. Okay. So we're just going to do this by eye. Let's face it, how else are we going to do it? So, if I use that, start dumping it in. So we think we've got about... Maybe one more scoop? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, for, like, for whatever that curry mix cost, which wasn't a lot, you're going to get three meals out of it, mm. potentially, for, and for two people. So, obviously we need to try and get these lumps out of here now. Definitely some more lumps in here. Let me, give it, let me be a bit more of a bigger ass. There's a little taster. Mm. Mm. What's wrong? It's not great. Oh dear. What, the flavour or yeah. does it need more curry powder? Well, it needs cooking out more. Mm. It can still taste like the flour. Oh, or, right, yeah. Or whatever it is. Well, it's not even simmering yet, so... No, no, I'm, I'm not in any panic. No, I'm in no panic whatsoever. I mean, having said that, it's not bad. Mm. And I think with our vegetables and everything else, it's actually, it's supposed to be medium spice. It's actually got a bit of heat in there. Yeah, genuinely. <laughs> it's starting to come up to simmer now. It's not quite Chinese chicken curry. Uh, sorry, Chinese chippy mm. curry. Yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't have expected that to be the case. Though. But it's not. It, it's in the same continent. <laughs> Maybe not in the same ballpark. Or on the same street, but it's, it's... Oh, well, I'm pretty sure I can smell the sweet spices that's used in a Chinese chicken curry. Yeah, and I think, <clears throat> I think once it simmers a bit more, it, it might mm. improve the flavour. In fact, I'll be surprised if it doesn't. That has thickened up a bit. It's been simmering now for a couple of minutes. So it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour half in this sauce over into Brandy's bowl. That's about half, yeah? Mm -hmm. I reckon? Yeah. And then... Pour my food back in there and give it a good, good old stir each. Oh, losing some noodles. <laughs> and just warm it all back through. There we go. Lovely. 
That looks, I'll tell you what, that looks pretty freaking damn good to me. Do you want me to hang in this one, boo? Or you start packing on with this one? And I'll just bomb that one up. Sure. Okay, there's yours. Thank you. Give me that one. You can take your fork back. And uh, bon appetit. And uh, just finish doing that one up round, round in a bit. So, noodles, Chinese curry rice, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of mushroom, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of chilli. An onion. Oh, and an onion. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's not bad, it's not, honestly, it's not bad. I mean, this is a cheap, cheap meal. And for the sake, you know, and I've still got all that left. I mean, you think of what I made it with. Mm. It's absolute dynamite, really, for the value for money. Dead taster. What do you think? Have you? I mean, you've yeah, tried it now. It's nice. Yeah. Very good. Mmm. It's hearty. It's warming. I'm giving that a good rating. It's a bit of effort, but when you're camping. What else have we got to do? <laughs> I mean, we're well, just beside there. All right, you know, but it's a bit of effort. But it's only took one pot full of alcohol for that. Mm -hmm. get, get to warm your hands up now with the, with the remnants that's left in it. <laughs> it's a real, it's a real treat, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. I'm a massive fan of this. Good. Look at all that. I barely touched it. <laughs> Meal for days. We could. Probably survive all weekend on this. <laughs> right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I have. Yeah. We found a lovely little spot here. It's been absolute belting. It took, it took a bit of effort getting here. We were both out of breath and such, but it's been an absolute peach of a walk, hasn't it? And yeah. uh, do, you me, do you want some final words? Final words? <laughs> <laughs> Close the video I off. I don't like going on camera. Um, yeah, it, it's been a good day. I know, I think this morning we were like, mm, don't, um, either of us don't think really we're that motivated to go for a walk, but we did it. It's been a good walk. Speak for yourself, I was up for it. <laughs> but uh, Not the hills. I think we were a bit disappointed we couldn't do what we wanted to do, yeah, but yeah. but then, uh, but this is, I don't know, for me, it's just turned out into a real treat of a day. Oh, it's brilliant because now we've found a place that we could potentially wild camp. There's a couple spots that look pretty good, even if not this one, but... You know, if it rains, we've, yeah. we're in a bit of a ditch. And you can tell that there's evidence of... You know. Yeah, well, yeah, it could be a bit marshy if it would really rain a lot, but yeah. maybe one for the summertime. Yeah, but no, very good. I'm going to tuck into my food now. Yeah, well, do you want to warm it back up? No, it's fine. It's okay. still warm. All right, guys. See you in the next video.